What's up, you chuckle fucks? It's your boy, Dark Raku here with What If EC was in the Battle Royale Part 3. So, let me actually kind of say something before I actually continue on with this. What if yesterday I was supposed to record this or record most of the Gojo one, but instead I was too fucking sick? Mm. Yeah, I sure don't think that this, this uh, what's it called, sickness that I have. Is not uh, being being fucking having allergies, but instead being actual sick, cause well I couldn't really breathe for like yeah. Right now I can breathe, but right now um, either it's allergies or I have to go clean out something. But yeah, actually let me check real fast. So yeah, let me just uh, continue on with this. What if other than that, let me just begin. Uh, let's yeah. So we begin into mostly Isi getting out the house after mostly talking to his mother. This is where well. Mostly when Issa gets out of his house, this is where, well, his mom did tell him to tell Mosi Moriyama what Mosi she told him. This is where, well, Issa sweats off, but of course, he decides to listen anyway. This is where Issa says, yeah, yeah, mom, don't worry, I'll tell her. But if I tell her and I bring her to the house, can I bring Fluff tomorrow to school, please? This is where, well, we could kind of think about it and say, hmm... Well, maybe. This is where, well, Easter says, really? You may be okay. If you bring it to the house later, okay? Easter says, fine, 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 fine. And I'll be asking her if you find knock her up. Wait, what? Bye bye. This is where, oh, well, Easter swatch off and walks away, but yeah. <clears throat> he just doesn't want to deal with his mother right now, but yeah. Of course, his mother is very, very nice, but of course, she can get very perverted sometimes. He forgets that most of the time, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into mostly Issei walking to school until mostly someone accidentally kind of bumped into him. Mostly, it was a girl with kind of mostly purplish, reddish hair, somewhat. Ooh, she kind of looked like this, this uh, well. So, for a moment, she looked like this, and this is where, well, her name was Karumi. She did have kind of palish skin. She did kind of look like a, like a tomboy, somewhat, and yeah. This is where, well, she was yawning until when she turns around. Of course, she wasn't wearing, like, the school uniform. Neither was Issei, because Issei was too big. And, well, mostly Kurumi hasn't actually been to school. And, of course, yes, her opai, uh, mostly size has became bigger. So, that's why she can't wear the uniform. This is where, well, uh, it's been, like, a while since she actually went to school. Like, at least a couple of months. So, that's why she hasn't really shown up. That's why, mostly, she was actually sick before, way before... Issa even died and went to the battle royale, so yeah. So, of course, with that happening, mostly they both see each other, and this is where Issa says, yo. This is where Karumi says, hey. This is where, well, both of them are just walking to school. This is where Karumi decides to do some small talk. So, I guess you're back in the living. Same with you, Issa said. This is where, well, Karumi says, so, what are you going to be doing? This is where, well, mostly Issa says, well, I gotta first talk to Moriyama Chan and even uh, Catherine Chan, but mostly Moriyama Chan. Hmm. Are you going to scold them for the fact that you got returned? Not entirely. I'm fine with returning. I just talked to my parents and they were fine. Wait, weren't you cremated? Wait, how the hell do you know that? Didn't you tell me tell me that once, or did I? This is where well, you say kind of say. Hmm. I th I think I did tell you. Yes, or they probably did. I don't know. I think I just gave you a probably, but not much. I don't really know. But yes, they did cremate me. But since the return crystal ignores all that possibility, it just repaid in my body. You can't be serious. That's the thing. Yep. Then how are you going to explain er everyone at school and how you got returned? I'm going to say that they uh, cremated a fake body. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that's going to make everyone kind of believe you this is where well he says well it doesn't even make everyone believe me it's just gotta make a certain couple of people believe me not much i don't really care after that this is where well mostly karumi says okay and what's that certain group of people that needs to believe you this is where well he said turns around to see karumi mostly her eyes her purplish kind of dullish eyes kind of meets up with mostly he says kind of goldenish brown that seem to be hardened over war that's yes, where well he just says, well, that's easy. I want this is where, well, mostly Issei kind of lean in closer to Mosi Kurumi. I want you to believe me only. I don't care about anyone else. That's where, well, Mosi Kurumi blushes and says, don't you, 
this is where she looks away, and this one, well, he says he chuckles and says, oh, well, at least I try to raise you up and try to make you mine. This is where, well, mostly, Umi say you, well, not Umi, mostly, Uzi, uh, not Umi, see, mostly, Karumi says, you bastard. He says, hey, well, I tried to raise up the golf girl, but I guess I couldn't. Not gonna lie, you're amazing, you know that? You're very cute, you know. This is where I'm making Kurumi say, you're only saying that because you like what, what mostly is under my jacket. Oh, of course, that's one reason. This is where Kurumi just glares at him. This is where well, mostly he says this. But still, what are you exactly? Are you a uh, mostly golf tomboy or something like that? <laughs> Sorry about that. That was me sneezing in real life, but yeah. But this is where, well, mostly uh, Kurumi glares at Issei and just uh, mostly huff and says, yes, I am. What, well, are you really interested in that? That's where, well, she tries to tease Issei. And Issei turns around and says, hell yeah. That's where, well, he looks his, like, mostly, mostly he just, like, pulls out his tongue and just kind of licks his lips. That's where, well, mostly making Kurumi blush and fluster and red and looks away. This is where, well, Issei says, what? Well, do you want this tongue to go so this where well Karumi managed to push him away and says, What about I get to school? Don't do something like that right in front of me or anyone else. This where well he says it's fine. I can try. This is where well mostly Karumi says, What do you mean you can try? Oh well, let's just get to the kettle class, because I need to talk to mostly Moriyama. This is where well mostly Karumi just scoffs and says, Fine, whatever. They get to the uh, mostly class or mostly the candle class, and of course they were well. Mostly they're waiting. Of course they see other like candle girls like walk away. Some of the candle girls do like stare at mostly Karumi and even Issei. Now of course they think Issei is like some kind of fucking like supermodel because of how he looks like. While mostly they look at Karumi and they think that she's actually also another guy. Little do they know it's Barney. A guy and actually a girl. Well, this is where well, mostly he says, says, How are you able to look like a guy when mostly when we were walking, you look like a complete girl somewhere because of that large? This is where well, mostly Kurumi sighs and says, Because I always have kind of been a tomboy my whole rest of my life. I know some secrets to actually suppress my chest and other things. This is where well, he says, says Hmm. You want to unzip your jacket or not unzip your jacket? You want to, like, take off your jacket so I can, like, see a little bit more if you're actually a girl? This is what, well, mostly, Kurumi says, can you stop trying to get in my, to my pants? Oh, well, I tried. Oops. Well, whatever. God, you're annoying. <laughs> I guess so. This is what, well, mostly they waited until mostly Issei decided to uh, talk to one of the Kendall girls that were in, what's it called, walking by them. Issei says, yo. This is where he just snapped his slack fingers. This is where, well, mostly the girls turn around and say, yes, can we help you? He says, says, oh, yes, can you tell me if uh, Moriyama, uh, yeah, Moriyama um, Yuki is here today? This is where, well, mostly the two girls turn around and say, we didn't see her in the dojo, but why do you need to see her? He says, says oh, no reason. Okay, will she be in her class or... Mostly first hour class or yeah. This is where well they said yeah. This is where well they're blushing at how good looking Issei is. He says okay, well I gotta be going then. This is where well mostly Issei start walking away. Kurumi follows along and of course they never did say their names towards the girls. So of course they can only imagine what their names are. The two kind of cute guys. Which mostly Issei is just a badass while mostly Kurumi's a girl, but yeah. But no one needs to know about that. But yeah. But we go into mostly a time skip of mostly going to first hour. Now, of course, Ishii does know that he has mostly uh, Moriyama in the first hour. So, of course, this is where, well, he's going to first hour. This is where, well, when he gets into the first hour classroom, uh, mostly the teacher says, Okay, we have two returning students back. You two can come in. He doesn't actually know their names. He didn't actually look up. He just thought there's two returning students coming back. This is where, well. Mostly Moriyama seems to be depressed, saddened, and doesn't know if she should go up to Issei to see if he's actually returned. Not to get her uh, hopes high up, so that's why she's so depressed. This is where, well, mostly Catherine's trying to pat her, and this is where, well, every other guy is, like, interested in trying to go out with mostly Moriyama or Catherine, just to cheer them up. 
if you know what I mean. But this might well, when they even try to get close, mostly Mariyama will try to kill them in an end team. But yeah, this is what well, mostly the two return students appear. This is what well, making every guy jealous because they really think that it's two dudes, while every girl kind of interested in them. This is where Mariyama kind of looks up and wants her eyes. It's none other than Issei, but Issei's other form. The one that she met in, was it called? The Battle Royale. This is where, well, Catherine is just seeing this. And, of course, confused with the other guy. Because, well, the other guy kind of looks like Kurumi somewhat. This is where, well, we'll see the teacher says, Okay, can you two kind of uh, say your names? This is where, well, he was also expecting it was two guys, not two, well, not a girl and a guy. So, of course, this is where Kurumi goes first and says, My name is Kurumi. I used to have cancer and, of course, I was slowly dying. So, that's why I didn't show up at school anymore. About, like, six months ago. This is where, well, mostly everyone wind their eyes after hearing that she had cancer and realize it's actually a she. This is where the guys kind of get interesting because she's kind of more like a tomboy uh, now that they realize. And this is where, well, some of the guys are about to kind of ask her out until this is where Issei say, returns and says, My name is Issei Hyoto. I don't like many things. And fuck off. If you think I died, uh, I decided to fake my own death and say fuck you, okay? This is where well, everyone looks at Issei and straight up just look at him. Straight in the dead eyes while Issei looks at them with back back with ferocious, uh, mostly uh, ferocious anger in his eyes. But yeah. Everyone in their eyes after seeing it's Issei back again but looking more like a complete badass. More like he didn't give a damn. And more the fact that he just said he just faked his own death. Like, bruh. This is where, well, two perverts right now rush towards Issei and say, Issei, you traitor! This is where, well, they tried to punch Issei until Issei fucking just kicked the mostly air, kicking both mostly uh, Matsuda and Morahama in the face, mostly in the side of the head, mostly the Morahama, and then smashing Morahama into Matsuda. But yeah, this is where, well, both of them just kind of crashed down to the ground, and this is where, well, they're knocked out. Issei say, shut the fuck up. And this is where, well, everyone wanted their eyes to see how brutal is Issei. He got him much stronger, much more powerful. And the fact that he is good looking as hell, like probably rivaling Kiba, everyone is just shocked. This is where he was dead for three months. Now nah, motherfucker came back to life looking like a complete badass. This is where well mostly Issei said, other than that, I'll be going to sit down in my chair. This is where well mostly Issei says, come on Kurumi. This is where well mostly he kind of grabs Kurumi's uh, hand. <laughs> And just kind of like hold on to her just so that he can make the guys jealous. And this is where one guy says, what are you doing to my baby mama? And this is where well, Mosi, he says, hey, you're well. This is where well, Mosi, he says, he looks bored at this guy. And this guy says, yeah, you want to fight or something? And this is where, well, the guy has very anger. It's just like pretty easily anger. It's just, this is where well, Mosi he says, hey, yeah, I do want to fight. This is where the person gets up and tries to rush at Issei. This is where Issei did not let this man kind of even touch him. He just fucking backhanded this guy so hard like. He just uppercut it really fast with just his right hand, mostly not right hand, left hand, knocking this guy out. Duh. This is where the guy got freaking knocked out. This is where oh, Issei says, pathetic. Kurumi was blushing because she was getting her hand hold on by Issei. But Issei didn't really care. This is where oh, mostly Moriyama was so jealous, very jealous. Right now to the point that she had a, a very like yandere aura. Making any girl that was around her kind of had the instinct to kind of not stare at Issei, at the same time, get away from Moriyama. She had a very yandere kind of, like, aura. She was so furious. And this is why, well, mostly we go into Catherine kind of feeling this and say, moriyama Chen, are you okay? Moriyama turns towards mostly see Catherine. Her eyes were actually, oh, well, mostly having hearts in them, but it was more like a yandere kind of hearts. She fell in love, but she's right now turning into a yandere slowly, but surely, but yeah. But of course, we go into mostly a time skip from that. So of course, everyone in this class were getting were ready to spread the rumors like crazy. While mostly Issei and Kurumi was just back relaxing, they didn't really care. They didn't even wear the damn uniform because well, they kind of grew out of it. But yeah, I Issei won't really care if you just say he fake his death because what the fuck, he doesn't care too much. But yeah. But we go into mostly a time skip of mostly everyone, and I mean everyone rushing out of the classroom, even the teacher, ready to spread these goddamn rumors. 
these goddamn just gossip all around. This is where, well, we'll see. They were left for only Moriyama and Catherine. This is where, well, <coughs> and someone else, but they didn't leave because they were actually asleep. But yeah, most of the time. This is where, well, Kurumi says, I think we should be going. This is where Moriyama says, you two aren't leaving. This is where, well, they hear a very psychotic, beyond the kind of tone from Moriyama. And this is where, well, Issa says, yo, Moriyama-chan. This is where, well, mostly Moriyama kind of gets up to Issa's face and says, you're mine, understand? You're only mine. I'm not letting you got them be with Kurumi or anyone. This is where, well, mostly Issa says, huh, did you become Yandere? This is where, well, mostly making Kurumi, uh, making Kurumi kind of jealous a little bit. That mostly uh, Moriyama is actually saying that Issa is hers only. This is where, well, but Kurumi isn't going to back down because she doesn't care. This is where, well, mostly uh, Catherine just there sitting. She feels like she's in a triangle kind of love for some reason because now she feels, uh, well, mostly Kurumi getting angry somewhere. This is where, well, Catherine doesn't know what to do, but all she sees is Issa kind of being relaxed. And of course, this is where, well, like, he already knew that something like this might happen. This is where, well, mostly he didn't know precisely, and this will actually happen. He just had an idea. Mostly he had prepared with a bunch of countermeasures, just in case anything happened. But yeah, anything happened in school. He's that tactical. Uh, yeah, he's that tactical from the fact that he was always tactical in the Battle Royale since there was always a chance of him dying in the Battle Royale, but yeah. But we go into Mosi. Uh, Mariama saying, you're mine, he's saying, no one else. So understand that. This is where, well, Issei kind of leans in closer to Moriyama and says, no, you're mine. No one else. Understand, Moriyama? Because you see here, I actually wanted to tell you something. Mostly my mother told me something about you visiting the Hero house every time to make sure you're coming from my parents. I'm not going to lie. I do love family, and that's why I really care about them so much. But I want to tell you something. This is where, well, Moriyama says, huh? Oh, yes, I'm uh, sorry you that bothered you. And this is where, well, mostly she then just shakes out and says, wait, no. This is where, well, she was still on her yandere, but, of course, she was more apologetic. So, what? This is where, well, mostly you say, says, I don't really care if you're yandere or not. And this is where, well, where almost kind of blushes. And this is where, well, he says, that just makes you more cuter. And also the more possibility that might have to make you mine much sooner. This is where oh, Moriyama blushes in the answer, realizing what he says, uh, hinting at. And this is where, oh, Moriyama says, what? Wait, what do you mean? This is where, oh, Issei says, <laughs> I came to school looking for you at the kind of class because I actually wanted to ask you something. This is where Moriyama blushes, and this is where, well, she then says, and what is that? Would you like to go out with me and become my actually official girlfriend you see here? This is where Issei kind of mumbles that part last, but this is where Moriyama, Kurumi, and even Catherine heard him. This is where, well, even the per, uh, the last person, but the person just heard it and didn't really care too much, but realized it's actually the leader of the pervert, well, the pervert leader. I should also mention that Aiko was there, but yeah, I forgot about Aiko. Because Aiko was also kind of there when in the battle royale, but yeah. But the other person is just like sleeping. We're trying to, but hearing all this, so of course. She's like half asleep, half hearing this, but yeah. Well, we go into mostly Moriyama says, uh, 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 her, her mostly face was all red. She had heart in her eyes, and this word, well, she looked away, and this word, well, mostly she said, yes, I accept. This word, well, making Catherine and even Karumi took a double take, even freaking Aika, and this word, well, Aika says, wait, you're actually accepting it? You're not going to just question him anything? What happened if he's still a pervert? This is where, well, Aika tries to kind of mention. She's actually not liking this whole relationship. The only reason why is because she wants to be in the relationship. She actually already saw mostly Issei's size. What his size is. And Aika wants it. But of course, mostly, it seems uh, Moriyama is going to accept pretty fast. This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of just smiles at mostly. Uh, Moriyama was just such a gentle smile. And this is where Issei says, good. Now. Do you want to do it now or later? This is where, well, mostly, uh, mostly everyone blushing and is hearing what Issei said. And this is where, well, mostly, uh, uh, mostly, what's it called? 
Mariam must say, uh, I, I, I'm just kidding. We can do it whenever. I'm just joking. Don't worry. Just take that as a joke. This is where uh, Mariam will blush and look away. And just say, yeah, yes, I know. This is where uh, Issa says, well, we should probably be going. Who wants to wake up the other student that has been asleep for a while and probably here on our carpetation? They turn around to see a girl with mostly... So pretty much she looked like this. Of course, she had kind of blackish hair with red kind of like highlights or mostly red hair, mostly behind her uh, blackish hair. This is where, well, she had reddish eyes and tannish kind of, well, not tannish, pellish kind of white skin, but yeah. This is where, well, this is where, well, her name was Kisuki, and this is where, well, she was already awake and just staring at both Issei and all the other girls. This is where, well, she says, I'm already awake. I couldn't really fall asleep because you people were still talking a lot. Why didn't you guys already just leave the classroom? Issei grins and says, why should I leave the classroom? Well, are you the freaking police that doesn't want the fucking people to stay uh, back or something? Security guard or something? This is why oh, she scoffs and says, no. I just don't really care about you being back alive. Well, are you going to peep on girls like me or what? This is why well, Issei says, I don't really know who exactly you are. My name is Katsuki. Okay, Katsuki. I still don't care. <clears throat> You see here, I have a girlfriend. Well, I have two, but mostly that is not here or there. This is where, well, Mariano says, hey, wait, 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 who's the other? This is where, well, Mosi we'll wraps his hands around, we'll see. Kurumi says, her. This is where Kurumi says, when the hell did I agree to this? This is where, well, Mosi we'll Issei says, but you agree when we're walking. You said that after Mosi we'll Moriyama kind of accepts this, you would become my, also my second one. Wait, wait, huh? Wait, what? And this is where, well, you see, says, oh, whatever. This is where, well, we'll see. Kurumi blushes and gets, well, mostly angry looks at, mostly, yeah, gives an angry looks at, mostly. You say, well, I wonder if it's the same because there was no such thing as that. This is where, well, we'll see. Kurumi, well, not Kurumi, Kitsuni kind of just looks at Issei with her eyes and says, really, too? Hmm, very interesting. You have quite interesting taste since Moriyama Chen and also Kurumi Chen. This is where Issa says, I'm not going to be guessing that you were a new student that got transferred to the school. This is where Kitsune says, yes, you're correct. But I was transferred kind of around the time you died. This is where well, Issa says, wow, that's a convenient fucking thing to happen. This is where well, Kitsune says, hey, I don't really make up the rules of life. Life makes up those rules and I just follow them. This is where well, mostly Issa says, that is some deep, heavy words that I will probably forget later. Kizuni just kind of scoffs and says, whatever. She gets up and this is where, well, she then says, well, we should probably get to class. This is where uh, Moriyama says, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot about class. Shit, shit, shit. This is where almost um, says, oh, yeah, I completely forgot about the class. I might just sit here and just fall asleep. Since I know mostly the first hour teacher doesn't really have anything else, I might just ditch the second hour. This is where Moriyama says, no, you're not going to ditch it. This is where she grabs mostly Issei's hand and says, you're coming with me. That's where Issa says, Oh yeah, I completely forgot that I had you in most classes. This is where, well, mostly Catherine says, you do remember all your classes through me, right? Not entirely. It's been a while, so yeah. This is where, oh, Catherine says, well, I guess I'll help you. Since mostly Moriyama and Issa are going to be kind of lovebirds and kind of walking around all together. I miss my friend now. This is where, well, mostly Karumi uh, makes a joke saying that maybe you should become a, uh, one of, what's it called, Issa's girlfriends. So you can always be when we'll see more Alma Chen a lot. Clothes and other things. This is where we're making Catherine blush and look away, but yeah. Well, we go into mostly a time skip, but mostly Kitsune also kind of like uh, walking along with mostly East A. Moriyama because she does have the next class with them. This is where, well, mostly she started with a small, uh, mostly talk about, well, what they were talking about the battery year and other stuff. This is where, well, making, well, Moriyama realized that she just let that slip. Isig just said, fuck it. He didn't care. He, de he didn't really care if he meant about the afterlife or whatever. Afterlife, mostly. Mostly when you die, you actually go to an afterlife. Instead of going to heaven or, or uh, hell, you instead, or purgatory, you instead sometimes go into something called Battle Royale stage. Which mostly a lot of video game users actually should know what it is. And some people who doesn't uh, play video games should know about the Hunger Games. But pretty much... It's just the fittest of the end, or mostly the fittest, yeah, the fittest 
mostly game. You gotta be fitter than anyone else. You gotta be more strategized. Gotta be better than everyone. For you to either get reincarnated or be reborn, or mostly return. So yeah, this work. Well, mostly continue says I see. And is that why you look all like this? You were reborn. I was returned most of the time. Because thanks to my girlfriend here, well, my new official girlfriend, she threw her turn crystal at me to return back to the living world. Also, if you're wondering if I was cremated, yes, I was cremated, but the return crystals allow you to kind of be returned safely without any harm from your previous damage and how you died or something like that. I see. Oh. Damn, Mariam, I did not know you actually care about him so much that you actually forcibly returned him back. But that doesn't make sense. How did all of them manage to know about it? I kind of met up with them mostly during a game that I was in. A mostly match. I was right now kind of wiping out some squads before knowing that they were there. This is where I almost see... Kizuni says, I see. Wow, not gonna lie, you're quite talented. I guess you should have told everyone the story so it would have made more sense instead of you fake falsing your death and then coming back looking like this. This race that says, yeah, that is true, but I didn't really care too much. I instead just said, fuck it, and decided to go on with life like that, but yeah. But we go into a time skip of mostly them getting to the next class, but yeah. Also, if you're wondering what's that in my teeth, I'm actually just eating a freaking, uh, mostly, I'm not eating, sucking on a, what's it called, uh, cough drop because mostly yeah this will work well other than that let me go back and forth but yeah sorry but of course we go into mostly well a time skip of mostly <clears throat> easy kind of like getting to his second hour third hour fourth hour and a bunch of students were questioning out easy and what exactly is happening and why he's next to Moriyama and other things easy straight up just submitted he just said he didn't want to beat around the bushes to say that he's going out with Moriyama chan Making everyone right now kind of ignore the fact that Issei was dead to the point that everyone wanted to hide the fact that mostly he's going out with Mariama. Mariama was blushing, looking away. While uh, Kitsune, uh, well, yeah, Katsurin was, well, not Katsurin, mostly Ka uh, Kitsune, or not Kitsune, mostly, yeah. Uh, whatever, I'll mention her name later. It just means blood, doesn't matter. In mostly English, but not the point. This is white, well. Mostly, she was giggling at the fact that Moriyama was all flustered red, and this is where Moriyama wanted payback. So, of course, it worked well. She admitted that mostly uh, the other girl right next to them is also a part of Issei's kind of like girlfriend's uh, circle. This is where well. Making Katsune right now blush in an instant and glare at Mor uh, Moriyama. This is where Issei right now tries to calm them both down, but realized that everyone else was bombarding Issei with so many questions and what the fuck, man. Leave us some, you damn lucky bastard. This where, well, he really didn't like any of those tones. So, of course, he was ready to kind of kick the shit of them, but not the point. That's where, well, mostly we go into mostly a time skip of, yes, Issei being the shit of them, yes. Issei Mike Tyson the hell out of all of them. He gave them the fucking Mike Tyson punches while moving his legs so fast that he looked like uh, Muhammad Lee's kind of reincarnation. This is what, well, he was like right now saying, look at the legs, look at the legs, beating the shit out of people left and right. But yeah, he just knocked out a lot of people. This is what, well, he was mostly throughout class and during mostly when they were going to different classes. But yeah, this is what, well, mostly making Moriyama kind of blush while mostly continuing to just kind of see this and realizing that he's a strong, powerful, and interesting. This is what, well, she might be thinking of actually taking that offer and becoming one of his. This is what, well. Mostly Issei never agreed upon mostly uh, making her become one of his. He was only interested in mostly Moriyama and even with Ka, uh, Kurumi. was from the fact that mostly met up with both of them. And realized that Kurumi had mostly something similar to him that he died later on. But yeah. This is what, well, mostly we go into a time skip of mostly later on. Mostly somewhere around lunch. But then as mostly passing lunch would be in 6 hours. He said for some reason got a notification saying, System alert, system alert. The portal of mostly the uh, Battle Royale game called Pug G. Yeah, Battle Royale game called Pug G has been alerted. System has shown. Portal has been activated. Portal has been founded. Survive or kill off enemies. This is where well, mostly the system said. He says, What the? 
This is where Kurumi looks at Issei with one eyes, and this is where, well, she then, like, tries to give, get him to, uh, say something to her to just see if he got in anything. But they're in class, and the teacher's a silent prick, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly when he, uh, when he noticed was a car, Kurumi kind of, like, trying to give, get his, uh, mostly notice to her. Mostly the teacher notices and says, hey, Kurumi, you are going to be, uh, detention later. This is where, well, mostly Kurumi just size and this where well we'll see Issei noticed that the teacher had a very lustful perverted uh, look in his face. This is where well we'll see Issei got annoyed with the teacher because he realized that this teacher is a perverted bastard. He he only wanted any chance to kinda of have Kurumi in the classroom. But this is where well Issei going to ignore the system warning later because they only stayed fifteen minutes later. And this is where well we'll see the class is going to end in fifteen minutes. He doesn't give a damn if those fucking people actually appear killing people. This is where, well, he's going to just wait. This is where, well, the teacher says, okay, all of you must be dispelled after 15 minutes, and this is where, well, everyone's leaving. This is where, well, not many people thought of anything too much. Issei would have left, but he was outside the classroom. This is where Kurumi was looking at the teacher with a confused look, but this is where the teacher says, now you're mine. The teacher said, lock in the classroom, and Issei notices, yes, he was outside, but yeah, he heard the kind of click. And this is where, well, we'll see the teacher says, now take off your clothing. Kurumi, because I gotta know how big you are. This is where Kurumi says, what? This is where, well, the teacher tries to blackmail Kurumi and saying, or do you want me to tell everyone that you are dating that perverted bastard? The one who literally came back to life. I don't know how, but whatever. This is where, well, Kurumi gets angry at mostly the teacher, and the teacher says, no. And this is where he licked his uh, tongue, and this is where, well, almost he licked his lips. And this is where, well, mostly before the teacher can even, like, do anything. The door busted down thanks to Issei's immense strength. Now, of course, this uh, mostly system says, most of the events shall be starting later or now. This is where, well, Issei said, I don't give a damn. This is where, well, before the teacher can even know what exactly happened, it was Issei kicking down the door, Kurumi winding her eyes and having a smile on her face, while the teacher turns around seeing Issei and says, What? Do you know how much that costs? Ugh, fine, I'll get you to spell. This is where a gun was pointing at his head, and this is where Issei says, Hey, buddy. Have you ever heard in, uh, well, have you heard of the word called shut the fuck up and die? This is where, well, mostly, the teacher said, wait, we can talk about, we, well, mostly, he blow his brains out. Kurumi didn't care and just went up to hug him and, of course, cried a little bit. This is where, well, mostly, he says, yeah, I'm sorry about not killing him earlier. If I would have known that this guy was perverted as hell, I probably would have posted up somewhere with a sniper rifle blowing his fucking well, yeah, you know where. And this is where, well, Kurumi giggles and says, I'm just happy that you did something. This is where, well, Issa says, I'm going to ask you, did you see the notification? Yes, I did. I do have the system with me. I don't know if Moriyama or Catherine saw it, but if that's the case, or even Aika, then there might be a system starting around Kuo, or mostly around, yeah, Kuo Academy. Kurumi nods and says, what are you going to do? This is where, well, Issa pulls out a red mask from his inventory, and says what I always do best, kill them. This is where I'm making Kurumi blush and says, yeah, I understand. But wouldn't that just cause trouble or anything? Well, no one's going to see my face. It's better enough for them to see my face, okay? This is where Kurumi blushes and says, yeah, but what do you want me to do? Well, since you didn't really get a gun when we were in the system, I can just lend you a gun. Really? Okay, give me a gun. Here you go. It's a pink gun. This is where, well, Kurumi says, really? I'm just kidding. Here. This is where, well, Issei gave her an assault rifle, and this is where, well, Kurumi just holds it and says, it's kind of heavy. Do you want a pistol? Maybe, yeah. Now that I think about it, I probably won't be able to use this. This is where, well, Issei takes out the assault rifle from her hand and gave her a pistol. This is where, well, the pistol is a, what's it called? He gave her a Glock 43X, but yeah. This is where, well, it was actually kind of coded in colors because, yeah, when the battery uh, starts, a lot of people have custom guns and other things. So, of course, this is where, well, the custom gun co was kind of colored purplish red. So, of course, it kind of looked like her a little bit. And this is where, well, mostly her hair. And this is where she was, like, looking at it and says, interesting. Very interesting. This is where Issa says, just make sure not to hold the left, well, yeah, don't hold the trigger too much. Because it does kind of, like, other than that, kind of get wonky. You might accidentally spray into front fire. But, yeah. This is where Kurumi nodded and says, thank you. This is where uh, Issa says, yeah, be sure to not die, because I don't want one of my girlfriends to die on accident. This is where uh, Kurumi blushes and says, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where uh, we go into a time skip later on. 
we go into mostly a battle or mostly a battle that's happening with the supernatural with a group of mostly like a group of like six people up here one person has a white mask and of course the white mask kind of looks like this somewhat his helmet kind of looks like this somewhat but yeah but with that happening, we go into mostly a time skip of mostly all of them kind of trying to fight back. But those who are, oh, the six members were all having like very machine guns, assault rifles, and other things. And yes, it did affect the devils. Now, of course, the devil didn't understand how, but the machine guns were more advanced than normal human technology. Those who are, oh, before anything can happen, mostly they hear, well, mostly a sniper rifle go off in the distance and smashing into one of the uh, people, one of the people on the sixth squad. One of them got eliminated so fast, and of course, they turned into blue glow and just disappeared later. This is where, well, mostly some of the squad members were looking for the sniper rifle until another person got shot. This is where the person with the golden helmet says, All of you, get back! This is where he tells them on a gruff voice. This is where, well, everyone tries to hide, but this is where, well, the sniper rifle right now noticed that they were all gone and just sighs. <sighs> Fuck it. This is where, well, he puts the sniper rifle away and starts kind of rushing down there. This is where, well, he has two pistols right now with him. There are two Deathers Eagles. One is called Eva, and the other one is called, well, mostly, yeah, Sylvan. But, yeah, because one is silver, one is just black, I mean, not the point. This is where he rushes straight towards, mostly, the, well, squad members. The squad members were looking all around, trying to make sure that there was no one uh, sneaking behind them. But they did not notice that one person can just jump onto a tree pretty high and start blasting them down. This is where, well, he started shooting them. And this is where, well, it kind of looked like, was it called Dante shooting at Mosi Devils? And this is where he took out, like, three other members. One person tries to attack uh, Mosi, the Red Mask person, until Mosi realized it's none other than Red Mask and shot him in the head. Bah! The guy was dead now. This is where all of them turned into blue energy. The last one with the goldenish mask right now looks at Issei. This is where, well, mostly they both start shooting each other, but of course they're dodging bullets left and right. They manage to easily dodge a bullet's blank range, and this is where, uh, mostly they realize they ran out of bullets, and so they grab into their inventory a knife to fight it more melee. <laughs> and this is where both of them start kind of kicking each other, mostly punching or just trying to knife each other. They get out uh, out of the bushes and mostly trees, and of course, this is where the devils were confused seeing this. Of course, this is where Moriyama tries to rush us towards this situation because she heard gunshots and other things. But of course, they realized that Red Mask is nothing other than Issei. Well, mostly those who actually remember Issei wearing the mask in the Battle Royale. And those who see the white mask, they don't even know who exactly this person is. The person says, you're not that bad, Red Mask. You're not too bad, uh, White Mask. I'm just going to call you White Mask if that's not a, too bad to call you. And it doesn't matter what you call me. Let's see who's stronger. This is where both of them start fighting, kicking each other. Of course, both their nice guys deflected out of their hands. But of course, this is where he used to punch the shit out of the person. Knee him right in the stomach. And then clock him right in the face. But yeah, again. This is where I almost see the person managed to get his mask kind of taken off of his face. To reveal a very beautiful male. And mostly longish white hair. The longish white hair with kind of goldenish eyes. But the one kind of detail that he has is kind of, kind of his lips is kind of coated with some kind of substance. But mostly, if you could tell a little bit, Kurumi actually realized that this person is not a guy. But this is where Issa says, what the hell? Are you a guy or a girl? Huh. It doesn't matter what I am, the person said with a gruff voice still. This is where, well, Issa realized that the gruff voice is a little bit strained. It seems that the mask was actually this thing that was actually mostly helping the person. But before him actually any, any more thinking about anything, the person grabs a knife from the ground, throws it up, kicks the butt of the knife, and smashes it into Issei. Instead of Issei's kind of like getting the knife stuck in his head, like fully like in, directly into his head, it only hit the mask and just kind of destroyed it. This is where, oh, Issei says, you bastard. That was my favorite fucking mask that I love wearing. This is where, well, we'll see. The person smiles and says, well... Isn't that too fucking... That's where... Well, before the person can even talk, mostly Issei punches the shit out of the person, knocking them out. This is where well, the person gets up trying to kick mostly Issei's legs until Issei managed to grab his legs and punch him again. This is where both of them just goes into a hand-to-hand -hand combat style. Brutal as hell, but of course, they might have been bleeding from each other, but they did not care. They were trying to beat the shit out of each other, of course. Of course, after a while, mostly the person is just like the entire and saying, Damn... I didn't know I was going to lose this path. 
This is where her voice was becoming slowly into a feminine because yes, she's actually a female. And of course, this is where well, her clothing is all dirty now. This is where oh, she then looks at Issei and Issei kind of just grins saying, well, so you're not a dude. You're actually a girl. Do I feel bad at kicking the shit of you? Hell no. This is where, well, she scoffs, but this is where oh, she blushes and says, I can't believe that you're really a red mask. Not gonna lie. I fell in love with you the first time I met you. Wait, we met each other? Oh, of course. You don't remember because you went solo after a while, after kind of, how should you say, after the training with mostly, oh, uh, not Toji, after the training with mostly, um, after the training with the one military person before he used the return crystal to go be returned back to living. And I can't believe you actually left us. He could have become a great leader. Why did you leave us? This where, well, she didn't scoff at Issei. Issei says, cuz, I suck at leading people. I don't care if you suck at leading people. You could have gotten better after a while. But no, you just left and became a solo player after a while. I hate you. You know what I hate more about this? It's the fact that you could have took the first rank of the light. But no, you decided to become one of the shadow players. And became the first rank of that uh, rank. You Faster. It pisses me off and how talented you are just so you can become something else that other people would rather not be. It just pisses me off. He could have been a hero, but no, you're just there. You're the villain. This is where, well, he says, says, that actually does sound pretty right right there. No, it doesn't. She glares at Ita and right now screams at him. This is where, well, he says, says, besides, I'm always the villain in every story of my uh, life. No, you're not. You're not the villain. I'm the villain. I'm going into really a complaint battle of who's the villain. Sorry, but I am the villain because I'm wearing all black and since I have darker hair and other things. But yeah, that's where she glares at him and says, no, you're not. I'm the villain. Sorry, but with white hair like that, with kind of goldenish or brownish. Is that, well, mostly is that goldenish eyes or is that just bluish? I can't tell because both both of them has a weird tint to it. It's kind of both. It's kind of turned green after a while. It's like uh, mostly uh, emerald green. But that's not the fucking point. You bastard, just be the hero for once. No, I'm not being the hero, I'm the villain of this story. That's why I have red mask with me. Because I did remember uh, reading that. I think he was an anti-hero, not a villain. But, not the point. I'm still the villain. This is where, well, she was getting angry and frustrated and frustrated. And just decided to rush up to Easy. And before he can even do anything, he just, uh, she decided to take his fucking first lift. She was ang angry, frustrated, and just blushing a little bit. This is where, well, mostly Issei won his eyes. Because he hasn't even took what to call Moriyama's first lift. And this is where, well, mostly he gets his own taken. This is where, well, he won his eyes. And looks at her and tries to about punch her. But this is where, well, Moriyama was the one to clock her out. She was so fierce and angry, her Ayandre side was actually appearing. This is where Issei says, holy shit, before he can even react, mostly, his lips were taken by Morihama. This is where Issei says, what the? This is where, well, two other girls got angry, so of course, they were, well, they rushed up to him. One was Kurumi, and the other one was mostly Katini. This is where, well, mostly Issei had enough, and just had a blood nose and passed out, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly, the girl with white kind of hair, and of course, we'll see her eyes being like almost amethyst green. Yeah, I'm just saying amethyst green, not goldenish. This is where, oh, she looks up at Moriyama and glares at her. This is where Moriyama looks back down and has a young lady look, but also glares at her. This is where, oh, both of them kind of just looks like they want to murder each other, but yeah. But of course, this is where, well, both of the girls managed to calm down the two kind of girls. They seem pretty interesting and easy. And this is where, oh, we go into Sona. Rias and everyone else who's kind of a part of the supernatural. Just seeing the battle between mostly Issei and the squad, who is basically Red Mask, which they have never seen it before. But goddamn motherfucker was a skilled fucking fighter. And that motherfucker can actually kick ass. But yeah. This is where Sanji does remember getting knocked the fuck out by Issei because Issei pissed well got pissed the fuck off by Sanji just complaining a lot. So all he remembers getting clocked the fuck out, but all that he can remember other than that. But yeah, Sanji, it felt great that he wasn't the one that were literally either got sniped, shot, or just get the fucking snot beat out of them. This is where, well, he was happy, but he was jealous because Issei was around four girls, literally almost making a harem entirely. He doesn't actually, well, I don't even know what's the number of being harem or whatever, but not the point. This is where, well, we'll see, Issei said, ow, well, God, they're all around me. What should I do here? 
Hmm. Now, I should mention one thing. Issei doesn't really have Diedrich with him. So, of course, mostly Diedrich is not going to be somewhat a part of Issei. Mostly after mostly Issei's death, mostly Diedrich disappeared. But, yeah. Other than that, let me begin. Oh, mostly just say one thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave it off like here because mostly my cough drop ended and I'm going to have to go do something. But other than that, bye. See you. Yeah. But, yeah.